Hello developers, welcome back to our channel. I am Harish Kumar. In the last video, we have started our React adventure by making a React app with Weed. Today, we are taking another step forward by learning about JSX. We cannot talk about React without first explaining JSX. Think of JSX as React's own language, a way to mix regular HTML into your JavaScript. In this video, we will break down what JSX is, how to use curly braces to add extra stuff and what makes JSX different from plain old HTML. I also wanted to take a quick moment to thank all of you who have shown incredible support for my ebook JavaScript A Comprehensive Guide from ES 2015 to ES 2023. Your response has been truly amazing. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, this ebook is your one-stop shop to learn everything JavaScript from ES 2015 to the latest ES 2023 features. It's packed with explanations, examples, and best practices to help you master the language. This ebook is designed for all levels. So whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, you will find value in it. So why wait, grab your copy today from the link in the video description and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more JavaScript content. Let's start with the basics. JSX stands for JavaScript XML. Instead of just JavaScript, you can mix in HTML like stuffs. If we see in the project, in the previous video, we have met the React component app.jsx and in this component, we call JSX everything wrapped in this parenthesis returned by this app function. It looks like HTML code, but it is not really HTML. It is a little different and it's a bit strange to have this code inside the JavaScript file. Under the hood, React will process the JSX and it will transform it into JavaScript that the browser will be able to interpret. Let's create a, another component that returns a JSX. So in the src directory, here I will create a new folder. Let's name it components. Now in this components directory, here I'll create a file hello.jsx and next in this jsx file create a function export default function hello and it is going to return in the parenthesis div and in h1 tag hello world so this hello component returns a html like structure this is called jsx next in the app.jsx here let's import from the components directory hello and next let's remove all of these and here include hello tag and remove this also this is it now in the browser we able to see hello world so this is the JSX that prints hello world. As I already mentioned, React under the hood transform this JSX into JavaScript that browser will be able to understand. Now let's rewrite this without JSX. So let's comment this and here let's return. So to return HTML like structure, React library provides create element method. So import react from react library and then here we can call return react dot create element and this method accepts three parameters. The first parameter accepts the string that specifies the HTML tag that need to be rendered. In our example we need div tag to render so here I'll pass div so it will create a div tag and in the second parameter we need to pass the optional properties 
right now we do not need so here we can pass null so the third parameter is the children for this div tag in our case that is hello world so here we can say hello world now in the browser we can see hello world is printer and in the inspect tool we can see the hello world inside the div tag but we want to print this within the h1 tag so let's add a h1 tag and in the browser it did not work and if we see the in the inspect tool it has printed the h1 tag as a inner text in the div element we do not want that so let's fix that so instead of this here we can pass react dot create element and next next we want to create h1 tag so in the first parameter h1 in the second parameter the optional properties we do not need any properties for h1 tag so let's say null and next in the third parameter we need text hello world so pass hello world and now in the browser we can see the hello world in the h1 tag and in the inspect tool h1 tag is now a dom element so react under the hood converts this jsx into this html code and you can see this html code is not easy to read and understand so jsx makes your code nice and clean next let's see this second parameter also this second parameter is used to pass the optional parameters for example let's say this div need a attribute id so here we can say in the curly bracket id let's say the id is abc so it will add the id attribute to this div tag like this let's see in the browser and here in the div tag you can see id abc similarly if we want to add class so let's say class colon let's say class test now in the browser class test but in the console you can see we have error invalid dom property class did you mean class name because in javascript the class is a reserve word so instead of class here we need to use class name like this and it will be fixed refresh now in the element we have class test similarly in this jsx also if we need to pass the class we cannot say class is equal to the class names instead we need to pass class name in camel case like this so comment this and now uncomment this jsx now in the browser we have class test let's change this to something else let's say example now we have class example here you can notice this error also react is defined but never used this error is because of eslint configuration because we have imported the react but it is not used we have commented this code so we can comment it also the error gone in the jsx we can also embed javascript expressions with curly braces for example let's say we have variable const name and its value is let's say harish so here in the hello world we can say in the curly brackets name so in the browser it will print hello harish you can put any valid javascript expression inside these curly braces including functions call method operators extra we will see these examples in the upcoming videos now let's see how jsx and html are different even though they looks alike they have some special features in jsx we name things a bit differently instead of class we use class name so if i add class so here in the editor it has immediately given the error unknown property class found use class name this error is provided by the eslint and in the browser in the console we have error invalid dom property class this error is because the class keyword is reserved in the javascript 
so instead of this class we need to use class name another big difference between jsx and html is that html is very relaxed in html tag even you have an error in syntax or you close the wrong tag or you have mismatch tags the browser will try to best to interpret html without breaking it is very forgiving but jsx is not forgiving if you forgot to close a tag you will have clear error message react usually gives you very good and informative error messages that point you in the right direction to fix the problem for example let's say we forget to close h1 tag here the editor has immediately given the error and in the browser also in the browser also we get the same error undo this the error is gone one more thing to remember that in jsx you must have a root element like here the div element wrapping everything so here if i return like this h1 tag and then again in the paragraph tag let's say example it is not valid gss expression must have one parent element in the browser also we get the same error gsx element must be wrapped in a closing tags to fix this we need to wrap this with root element for example let's say wrap this with div tag or if you do not want to wrap this with the any root element maybe because of web page design you can wrap it without tag like this refresh and it will work so in summary jsx is an extension to javascript syntax it provides a html like it provides a familiar html like structures but it has some key differences from html syntax for example we cannot use class attribute instead we have to use class name and expressions can be embedded with curly braces and it makes the react component clean nice and intuitive i hope this video helps you understand the jsx and how to use it effectively if this video helped please give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing for more react tips thanks for joining us on this jx tutorial in our next video we will keep exploring react until then happy coding mm -hmm.